In this two minute tutorial, we're going to use Ableton's envelope editor to add variation to the volume of our drum loops to make them more interesting. So first we're gonna do is drop in a audio clip into our first channel here. And as you can see our drum loop down here, we're going to go into the envelope box editor right here by clicking the symbol. And then we'll go up to our envelopes editor and make sure that clip is clicked. And then you're going to choose volume from the drop down. If you have it on mixer, it's going to change the actual properties of the mixer and not just the clip. Then this blue line represents 100% and we can start to draw that in by pressing Control or Command B to operate our draw tool and drawing in a pattern. Keeping in mind that the audio clip might already have some variation added to it in the volume. So volume or the velocity of an instrument is the force used to strike an instrument. The lighter you, you hit a drum or percussive element or instrument, the quieter or softer the sound can be. When an instrument is played by a human, the velocity will vary a lot because a human cannot hit the exact same every time. By adding variation to the velocity or the volume of the drums, they will sound more humanized by not adding the same exact repeated notes. This will cause the listener to be more subconsciously engaged and more interested because the sound won't be as exactly repetitive. So now that we've added a bit of variation with our draw tool here, let's listen how it sounds. You can see especially here that the drum loop becomes a little bit quieter. This is going to add a bit of variation and sound a little bit more interesting, but don't do too crazy with it because it's supposed to be subtle. We can also do this with MIDI clips as well. If we were to drop a drum rack into our MIDI clip here and then drag and drop the same drum loop, Ableton is going to convert that audio clip into a MIDI clip and then we can open it up and back to our envelope editor. And right here we have our hi-hat closed sharp. So you want to drag that from the drop down menu, make sure you're clicking the right sample and then click on volume again. It'll be at the middle breakpoint at 0% and then you can change the parameters by increasing or decreasing your volume.